Hey, welcome to the Media Composer Cutting Edge Video Series. Today's episode, we're going to talk about the fully integrated motion tracking and stabilization tools that are within Avid Media Composer. Now, there are so many times that editors are called upon to correct problems with the source footage that they're given. Maybe it's because the footage is shaky, or there are faces or logos that need to be concealed. And of course, if you're doing visual effects like titling, motion tracking and stabilization tools are vital to have. Now, these situations come up so often, it'd be a real pain to have to go out to a third-party paint and compositing application just to overcome them. But with Avid Media Composer, all the tools you need to meet these challenges are always close at hand. Media Composer's paint and animat effects are a great way for doing image painting or keying operations. The first thing you need to do is to apply the paint effect. Now, in this case, you've got a couple of shady-looking characters wearing matching t-shirts. The network thinks it might be gang-related, so you're going to have to blur out the design on their t-shirts. By simply drawing circles around the logos, you can set the paint mode to blur, effectively concealing the logos. Now, since the boys will be moving independently of one another, you'll need to assign a tracker to each of them. In fact, Media Composer lets you track up to four different elements in the image. The inner box of the tracker identifies what's known as the region of interest, basically the pixels you want to track. The outer box establishes the area you want the tracker to look in to find those pixels. Once the tracking data is gathered, it's automatically applied to the position parameter for each shape. All that's left is to make a quick adjustment to the final size of the shapes you created, and the problem is solved. Used in conjunction with the motion tracker, the paint effect is valuable for much more than the example we just looked at. In this example, our props department painted this plane with a color scheme that wasn't historically accurate. You're going to fix that very quickly, starting with a simple shape drawing. This time, instead of using the blur mode, you're going to apply the colorize option to change the color of the vertical stabilizer of this plane. The shape itself will set the area you want to colorize, while the magic mask parameter will give you greater precision in color correcting just the pixels you want to affect. Now you can track the actual part of the plane that you're affecting, but by the end of the clip it's moved out of the raster. You can overcome this by taking advantage of Media Composer's offset tracking ability. Even though your shape is on the back of the plane, you can track another part of the plane because you know that the pixels will be moving in the same manner. Although it's predominantly thought of as an issue for home videographers, all handheld shots are susceptible to unwanted shakiness or accidental movement. With Media Composer's fluid stabilizer, even non-professional camera work can be made to look great. In all the examples you've seen to this point, tracking was accomplished by using from one to four trackers. With Fluid Stabilize, you don't have to track anything. The entire raster is broken up into a matrix that is analyzed for overall movement. After the analysis has been completed, you can see that the entire image is being moved about in order to smooth out the motion in it. This is obviously not the look you're going for. Turning on the Steady Glide option will give you the ability to retain the intended camera motion, such as pans and tilts, while smoothing out the jittery quality of the shot. Here's a comparison of the original shot versus the corrected version. Keep an eye on the roller coaster's track. Often the improvements to the clip are subtle, but they mark an important distinction between a shot that looks like a good handheld shot and something more like an amateur home video. Media Composer's motion tracking system is very handy but its real power is revealed when it's used in conjunction with other tools such as Paint and Animat, or in this case, the real-time 3D warp engine. Just one of the many tools available in the 3D warp toolset is corner pinning. Corner pinning allows you to position a foreground image, whether it's video or a graphic, under the background image in the correct X, Y, and Z positions. This is a real plus when you need to do things like adding images to monitors in the shot or changing signage that may appear in the scene. In this example, we need to add signage that wasn't there during production. Since there are four corners to the foreground title, you're going to use all four of your trackers. When used together, the data gathered from the four trackers will give your foreground image or graphic the same movement through X, Y, and Z space as your background image.
So as you can see, whether you need to blur specific parts of your image, stabilize shaky camera work, or do moving spot color correction, Media Composer can make quick work of all of these problems. Now as always, if you want to try this out for yourself, we encourage you to download your own fully functioning trial version of Avid Media Composer right from our website. Or you can talk to your local Avid reseller. That's going to do it for now. Please stay tuned for more Media Composer cutting edge videos.